We're hanging out with the detectives. Go check them out. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Aww. It's really you. I'm stuck on the desk again. This mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me you up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new Whoa. partner. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, mm -hmm. the devil is in the details. Ooh. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was... Some kind of cryo you facility. Were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one. What else person. can you tell me? My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. They just. It's okay. You don't Just need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. Um, they didn't say much, but... But I remember they... They called so me we're the talking backup. a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would Good anyone question. take him? Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot that of confirms it. it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their then way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. <sighs> Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made yeah, you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks. Arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth and fend for itself. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like... like sandpaper. Huh. Across your face. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left Wait. eye. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but 
No one knows who his employer is. He bought is. a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah. Big difference between an infant and a 10-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. Could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where Security he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Aww. Ellie. Hey girl, I just want to say... Miss Perkins, you've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. You two be careful. Nick's not the type to turn someone away, but he's only one person. So sometimes things just pile up. I didn't like what I was doing. Piper wasn't a fan of what I said to Valentine. Is my audio working? Oh well. Identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. It's weird how the audio does that. Won't be able to pick this. Keep an eye out, will you? That's one heck hey, of a lock. what can I do? Mm, I'm just trapped with a fool. Why don't you give it Hello? a try? Your thoughts? Doing the right thing rarely makes you popular. But I don't think I could live with myself otherwise. See That's all for now. That okay. Open. Don't think I can pick this. All right, we gotta figure out lock picking. Cap collector toughness. Life give uh Alright, it's good to have that. in the distance near the city entrance that's the elevator to the mayor's office why don't you go ask around there i'll stay here and see if i can jimmy this lock all right let's get the key so happy i can jump over stuff All right, let's go on up to the mayor. Diamond City.
The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Got it. Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Nick Valentine wanted me to see you. Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? You two aren't trying to get me into hot water now, are you? <laughs> A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. I understand. You, you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them what? a bit? What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing. But I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Hey. Shoot, Cap, for your thoughts? Your thoughts? Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Is everything all right between us, Piper? It's hard to say at the moment. I think I need you to show me you're not just out here for yourself. Oh, nothing. All right. Geneva. Did you need something else? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked if up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on, can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back.
Hey, Valentine. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Check out that desk. Hmm. What's that for? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of them are just favorite things. Nick. Oh, look at that. All of Kellogg's favorite things. Nick, move. Boom, boom. What else is in here? Anything? Pork and beans. Gwyneth Stout beer. 44 caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. We'll never find him. Damn it, drop the doom and gloom act. We can work through this. What about dog meat? A commonwealth muck like him can track a set for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say Besides, so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the commonwealth after one man. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Nick is now available for my companion. Dope.